Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, this is your monthly general reading for November 2019. I want to wish all of you Scorpios that already had your birthday and that will be having your birthday in November, happy birthday to you. Uh, this is your season. So I'm using the Grand Lux Tarot to pull a major energy for you uh, that you may be dealing with in the month of November. I'm also using the Madame Andorra <laughs> Tarot, and I will be using messages from your animal spirit guides. And I will be doing your monthly general reading with the Tarot of Dreams. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What does Scorpio need to know during their season, Spirit? Thank you. All right, we have the Empress. Beautiful energy. All right, thank you. All right, Spirit. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And I will be pulling uh, several Life Purpose cards for you at the end of your reading as well, Scorpio. All right, we have the spider. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. All right, we have electric ill spirit. Beautiful. Right spirit, what does Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising sign need to know? This is their season, their birthday. Thank you, spirit. All right, we're ready. All right, the situation of the month. We have the seven of cups coming up here. Crossing you is justice. In your foundation, beautiful, we have the Empress again. So this is very significant, very positive. All right, your recent past energies are the Seven of Coins. Crowning you, beautiful, Ten of Coins. Your new circumstance is the Knight of Coins. What you need to know is the King of Cups. Your environment is the Three of Coins. Your advice from Spirit is your energy. Beautiful death. And your outcome energy, Queen of Wands. All right. What a beautiful message here. Okay, let's start here with the Empress. So this is coming up twice. This talks about you having a great deal of creativity. Some of you have recently invested your time, your money. Uh, you may have started a, a new business, a, a new career or job or decided to go back to school. The Empress talks about you being very grounded at this time. The seeds you've planted, you've nurtured them. And now there's a promise of expansion and growth coming in here so what you put that effort in is coming back and i feel like it's going to bring a great deal of abundance especially when it comes to your financial situation you have a lot of coins here uh you know the empress also represents new life and just the beginning of something that's going to be uh very beneficial to you in your situation now we have the spider be meticulous and patient. I, I feel uh, for some of you, there's a need to get organized, okay? Uh, make sure that you have all your ducks in a row. Uh, make sure you're not overlooking anything in the month of November, especially when it comes to uh, what you're working towards here, especially when it comes to finances. Uh, for some of you, I'm getting the sense there could be contracts that are going to be signed. Uh, make sure you look them over very carefully. And there's also a need to be a bit patient with yourself. This growth and expansion is coming in here. I feel like it's going to explode for you this month. 
and it may be a surprise uh, for those of you you know you could be receiving a promotion or a pay raise or you could have recently started your business and things are fixing to pick up very quickly for you so be patient with the process now we have the electric ill spirit bring your ideas to life what a beautiful energy so here's this creative vision all right take those ideas get them out of your head uh, start uh, manifesting and co-creating your reality what you want what your heart's true desire is it's time for you to take action Scorpio uh, this is going to be a very uh, successful time for you especially those of you that are starting something new um, and really bringing it and manifesting it into reality here this could be definitely starting a business from home turning a hobby into something that's going to be very uh, successful and bring in some financial uh, abundance into your life now we have the seven of cups as the situation of the month oftentimes this can represent uh, this energy of feeling like you have too much of a choice for some of you, that could be the case. I feel for the majority, though, as long as you listen to your intuition, tap into your own inner guidance here, uh, you're going to gain a lot of insight. Uh, pausing and reflecting. I feel that this represents that you have many options, options and opportunities um, on the table here. And it's an amazing energy. So if you do feel a little bit overwhelmed by having so many options or opportunities here whether it's career job um, ideas really trust your intuition and go within at this time because all the answers that you are seeking lie within you scorpio now your crossing energy is justice and i love it this is the energy of libra coming up here uh, this talks about you having clarity within this situation so uh, I feel like there's been some truths discovered here, maybe within yourself, maybe within a situation, uh, maybe within uh, other people. Now, the justice can also represent, some of you may be dealing with a legal or financial situation. I definitely see agreements, uh, maybe making compromises at this time as well. Uh, definitely with the ten of coins here uh, in the position of what you know right now in your crowning position. Some of you may be waiting on an inheritance, so you may be receiving clarity and news about what you've been waiting on with any legal situation. And just, you know, across the board here, clarity within what you're doing and what you're working towards. Now, in your foundation, we have the Empress again. I love it. And, and let's go ahead and let's point this out. We have the Empress twice. Okay, and then we have the three of coins in your environment. And that's three, three, three. Beautiful, beautiful numbers there. Um, there's a message there for you. You can always go and Google angel number meanings. Go look that up. There's an extra message for you, Scorpio. Now, this is what's driving you. This is what's moving you forward. And, you know, this is exciting. This is you being very creative. This is you working towards, you know, nurturing. That growth and expansion and abundance is going to be coming into your situation. Some of you, uh, maybe one or two of you, you may have recently found out that you're fixing to have a child. Uh, for those of you, congratulations. You know, this talks about, you know, a harvest here. And I, I love that for you. Now, in your recent past energy, we have the seven of coins. Okay, this seven of coins you may have recently uh, evaluated how you are going to spend your time or maybe your money. You may be investing a coin into a business, uh, maybe going back to school. Uh, some of you may be investing in maybe stocks, that type of energy. But like I said, this could be also how you're using your time as well. And you're doing it in a positive way. You're stopping and you're pausing and reflecting. And it's a beautiful energy. Now, with this ten of coins in your crowning position, this is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. This is so positive. This represents the good life. Okay? This represents good wealth, 
good health, stability, and security. It also represents, you know, traditional family values. What, you know, what's been passed down or carried on. What means, what that means to you. Um, like I said, some of you, you may be waiting on an inheritance, maybe probate, that type of energy. But this is very positive. Now we have the Knight of Coins coming up here as the new circumstance. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming through here. And this is, is a slow moving energy. But I love, this is my favorite night because this night is very hard working, responsible, persistent, and realistic. And whatever you set off to do, especially when it comes to building up your finances or investing money, um, you know, you're not overlooking anything and you're taking your time, which means you're going to achieve what you're setting out to do here. And it, this can bring about long-term financial uh, success as well. Now, in the position of what you need to know, we have the King of Cups. This is your energy, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. This talks about you having a great deal of emotional stability. Um, you know, the King of Cups has a lot of wisdom, whether you're male or female. It talks about you having a very generous spirit. You're very giving. You're very nurturing, uh, very supportive. And this is going to serve you well. This could also maybe be somebody that is around you that offers a lot of support. It can, it can go both ways. Now, in your environment, we have the three of coins, and I love this. Um, this talks about, you know, planning, teamwork, and especially with it in your environment. Some of you may be buying or purchasing a house for the first time. You may be remodeling. Uh, I feel like you are investing a lot of time uh, within the home and you may be putting forth money and I just I, I just feel this in, some of you may be relocating as well but this is a very down-to-earth practical energy uh, some of you could be planning a vacation a trip uh, some of you may have recently received a promotion or a pay raise you know, uh, the Three of Coins represents being uh, recognized, being admired for your work, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's, it says that you're highly skilled, so beautiful energy. Now, Scorpio, we have uh, advice from Spirit. We have death coming up here, and this is your energy. This talks about, you know, Spirit is saying, you know, you have... I feel, and I'm saying this as it's already happened, because I feel for many of you it has. Now, some of you may be uh, in the process in the month of November, letting go of anything that's been uh, maybe negative, that's maybe blocked you or hindered you. This talks about dumping emotional baggage, letting it go. But I feel for many of you, you've already, you've already went through this. But, you know, you, you're going through a major transformation, which is allowing you to transition into a new beginning. And it's beautiful. The uh, I'm getting the image of a butterfly in my mind's eye. Uh, I love that. So we have the Queen of Wands as your outcome energy coming through here. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is whether you're male or female. This is that go-getter, self-assured type of energy, very upbeat. Uh, this talks about some of you may be in a leadership role when it comes to your, your career or what you do. Uh, some of you may be mentors. I feel like you just, you help others as well. You lift people up, uh, the, all those that you're around. You know, I, this talks about you having a lot of passion and desire about what you do and you know you're not going to allow anything to get in your way of you achieving what it is that you're going after and what your goal is so amazing energy right here all right let's pull some life purpose thank you spirit beautiful energy All right. 
You're on the right path. Yes. Nutrition. Artist. Love it. Okay. You're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. Nutrition. You conduct healing work with your culinary skills. Amazing. Artist. Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Scorpio. I love each and every one of you. Happy birthday. It's your season. Have a blessed one. This is an amazing reading here. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Scorpio.